after a pair of blue-faced honeyaters are separated from the rest of the birds in the aviary. The white-rumped Shama can return to building her nest in peace. But it looks like she is now ready to lay eggs. Therefore, in this episode, we will be observing the continuation of the condition of the female white-rumped Shama. Is it true that she will lay eggs soon? It's the aviary! Hello guys. This morning Kong Pio and I will check out the white rumped shaman nests. Recently, female and male white rumped shama moved their nests to this big tree. Okay, without further ado, let's check their nest. Let's go. If I look from here, their nests have started to form. The nest base comprises rough branches covered with leaves, pine leaves, and fibers. Chances are the female will lay eggs soon. Maybe if not today, it might be tomorrow. It is the nest of white rumped shama. It looks neat and comfortable. So now we have to wait for the female to lay eggs. And these are the remains of leaves that the female white rump shama uses to build nests. The bignay tree where the white rump shama pair nested was also inhabited by the oriental magpie robin pair before they moved. It's just that the oriental magpie robin occupies a different hole than the white rump shama. The tree does have many holes in its trunk. And somehow, the tree became a favorite place for birds to live and nest. The next day, Irfan, Kong Pio, Bogus, and Dr. Roy rechecked the white rump shama's nest to see if the female had laid eggs or not. In addition to the bignay tree, it turns out that she also makes nests in the Gladok and she often moves between the Gladok and the Bignay tree. Therefore, before checking the Bignay tree, Irfan and his team firstly went to the Gladok because the female might lay eggs there. There are three white rumped shamas in this aviary, one male and two female. And it is a female bird that has no mating partner. White rumped shama is monogamous so she doesn't get a partner. Poor her. Maybe Irfan will have to bring in another male white rump shama to accompany her later. But that's a matter for later. Now let's look at the contents of the Gladok. Look inside, and there is a nest made of palm fibers. But there are no eggs in the nest. Since the nest is empty, let's move on to the bignay tree. Inside, it turns out there is the white rump shama female. And from her position, it looks like she's incubating an egg.
but to be sure, we have to check it directly. But we'll do it tomorrow when the female is out of the nest. Yes, we better do it tomorrow, because now the male bird looks angry. All right, boy. Don't be mad. They will get down from the tree. The next day, Bogus and Kong Pio specially prepared the stairs for Irfan, who wanted to check the white rump shama eggs directly. Please understand, that Irfan didn't have good climbing skills like Bogus and Kong Pio. Be careful, Irfan. If you fall, get up right away. Fortunately, the female was not in the nest. In exchange, Irfan found several eggs inside. Guess how many eggs are in there? The answer is five eggs. Thankfully, the female can lay that many eggs. Uo, look, how happy they are. Hopefully, all the eggs can hatch. Next, the team install the camera in the bird's nest to make it easier to monitor the eggs and the mother. So they no longer need to climb trees. They can look through their cell phones. Camera installation should be done carefully. The camera position must be proper to not disturb the female while incubating the eggs. As the team set up the camera, a pair of white rump shama watched from a distance. Maybe they feel a little disturbed by the presence of people around their nest. But they didn't attack. They just perched on a tree branch while watching. But as soon as the team finished installing the camera, the female immediately approached and entered the nest. At the same time, the male is standing guard outside. That's it for this episode. Hopefully, the white rump shama chicks can hatch soon and grow up healthy. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.